unlike the Maddens, NBA 2Ks, NHLs, and FIFAs, or football clubs, of the industry, the sport of tennis isn't represented with a major annual release. Sadly, it's sometimes many years between notable tennis releases, which is baffling considering that tennis is reportedly one of the top five most watched sports in the world. While Super Tennis, Virtual Tennis, and the original Top Spins carried the legacy as much as they could, fans of the sport have been waiting a long time for a truly competent representation. With Top Spin 2K25, the development team at Hangar 13 Check and Publisher 2K are hoping to do just that. They've brought the classic Top Spin IP back to life after 13 years, and with it, licensed players, events, locations, brands, and career and online modes. So have they hit a down the line winner or merely a misplaced volley? Tennis, on the surface, is a straightforward sport. Two or four participants hit a ball back and forth over a net and try to ensure the other can't return it. Simple, right? But of course, anyone who knows tennis knows the devil is in the details, and the details are vast. Getting those details correct and enabling players to engage with them effectively on screen is imperative for any serious gaming entry. Fortunately, Top Spin 2K25 does just that. Upon first loading into the game, you're greeted by the legendary John McEnroe, who begins taking you through training, and it becomes apparent rather quickly that there's a lot of depth to the systems you'll be learning. As with other tennis titles in the past, the face buttons represent different shot types, with the right trigger also adding the ability to drop shot. These combine with timing and power meters to determine how well you hit the ball on every single swing. Your swing is further affected by your positioning, movement, and angle to the ball. And those can also be utilized to hit inside-out shots should you choose. It's an excellent system and most importantly, it's deep and engaging. Not only does the combination more accurately recreate the sport and thus allow sensational rallies, but it also makes every shot a mini-game in itself. Nailing a perfectly timed shot down the line with full power or dropping a ball just over the net is exhilarating. And more importantly, it's fully representative of the mental game you play with opponents in the real sport. This foundation was clearly tuned extensively, and it was no doubt the right decision, because without that foundation, all the features in the world couldn't make up for lackluster tennis gameplay. Fortunately, Hangar 13 also honed in on the AI competition. Top Spin offers five difficulty levels out of the gate, but enables you to unlock two more labeled Expert and Legendary. Ramping up the difficulty makes matches extremely challenging, with the AI reacting in ways and hitting shots that are far less predictable than in most tennis games I've played. Having this option is critical to keeping the game interesting, particularly if you prefer to play the single player modes. The player creator suite is extensive and affords a great deal of variety at your disposal. For once, I attempted to create myself and did a somewhat admirable job. Though, there's a hollowness behind the eyes at times that's either a very minor shortcoming of the game or more representative of myself than I'd like to admit. Could be a little of both, if I'm honest. Regardless, it's definitely one of the better player creators I've used recently. That extends even further to animation styles and your character's personality as well, all the way down to how often you grunt when hitting specific shots. These may seem like trivial additions to some, but the attention to detail is what's appreciated. It makes your character feel more personal while on the court. As you set out in career mode, you begin at a low, global rank playing TS250 tournaments. As you travel the world month by month, complete trainings and skill tests, and do well in tournaments, you will level up, increase your attributes, and expand your skill set. It's a rather straightforward, by-the-numbers career mode with a few additional wrinkles. The monthly schedule is a good format for the sport as it coincides with seasonal surfaces and tournaments, which I appreciate. Every month you're able to do one training, one special event, and one tournament. Each of these provides experience which you use to level up and raise your attributes, and as time goes on, you'll increase your player ranking and be able to take on tougher competition and larger tournaments. In particular, the game focusing in on the seasons around clay, grass, and hard court tournaments is fun, and each of the court types is well represented in its gameplay as well. As Top Spin 2K25 is officially licensed, this means eventually getting to play in Grand Slams to face the best players in the world at least the ones that are actually licensed, but more on that shortly. There's an energy to playing in the biggest tournaments and arenas, and Top Spin does an admirable job representing those moments. Notable are the excellent crowd reactions and corresponding displays of player emotion. 
making an incredible shot that leaves the other player dumbfounded will often result in an audible gasp from onlookers, while winning a long rally can often end in thunderous applause. Naturally, this grows as the venue does, a feeling that further brings the moments to life as your player visibly celebrates in their own unique way. As you rank up, more options become available to you as a player. Each level provides six attribute points that you can assign to your skills, thus allowing you to specialize on particular aspects of your play. You'll also eventually unlock upgrades to your racket and individual skills that can give you advantage in tight matches. Beyond that, you can also hire and upgrade coaches over time. By completing specific tasks and matches, your coaches will progress with you and provide additional bonuses. Depending on the type of player you want to be, leveling your coach can be game-changing by providing substantial benefits. This is also true of your staff as you progress even further. Hiring four different staff positions aids you with injuries, resting, and even brand sponsorships and currency earning. You're also able to buy homes around the world, which further help you in retaining some of your energy month over month. Play too much and you risk injury, and injuries will degrade your abilities or hinder you from playing entirely. In the scope of sports games, it's management light, but it's also representative of the non-team aspect as well. Overlaying all of this is a podcast that will often discuss your progression and rise up the world ranks. While it's nothing groundbreaking by any stretch, it is a nice addition, and it provides at least a little life to what is otherwise a rather straightforward mode. Should 2K plan to continue with a regular cadence of top spin entries along the lines of other sports, they will absolutely need to develop ways for broader engagement within the career mode. Alongside the career mode are a few online offerings for those who prefer real-life competition. As a competitive player, I was excited to dive into these modes. The World Tour mode allows you to take your custom player online and compete with others around the globe in tournaments. While in the 2K Tour mode, you select from the licensed professional players to compete against others in individual matches, which then earns 2K points and climbs the global leaderboards. Top Spin features a range of current and retired professional players such as Roger Federer, Serena Williams, Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi, and Steffi Graf, to name a few. However, there are notable omissions. According to 2K, they are planning continual expansions to the roster post-launch, with all additions being free to players. But as of this moment, it's definitely a shortcoming of the game. The online modes are a very welcome addition and have a strong foundation to keep players returning. If 2K expects players to engage with the game long term, I believe this is where a lot of the focus needs to be. And when it works as intended, the matches can be some of the most intense and enjoyable I've played in a tennis game. Utilizing the right shot at the right moment or outthinking your opponent to score a game winner is thrilling, and it highlights the excitement of the sport. Sadly, there are some very critical drawbacks in the current state of the game. First, World Tour doesn't seem to have any skill or level matching as far as I can tell. I played a couple of matches that were somewhat even, but I've also played a couple where the other player clearly had a very high level player with skills I was nowhere near close to unlocking. This made it next to impossible to play competitively. But even worse, nearly every match I played online had a poor connection status in the corner. This meant a noticeable amount of latency on every hit, and in a game that requires extremely precise timing, it simply doesn't work. Lastly, and perhaps most bizarrely, there is no option to play friends at launch. As I noted, matchmaking is available in multiple modes, but there are no private or custom game options to hop online with friends. However, we have been informed by 2K that the option will be added before the end of May so hopefully it should be arriving in the next couple of weeks. Being a modern sports game player customization with cosmetics is widely present as is a battle pass titled the Center Court Pass. Daily and weekly challenges are available to earn points towards the pass, which provides a range of cosmetics, player customization options, and boosts. There's also in-game currency you earn for completing tasks as well as simply playing the game. Upon first seeing the Center Court Pass, I was concerned it was gonna be another way to monetize in-game items which would leave playing the game feeling like an unfulfilling grind. However, to 2K's credit in this instance, in-game currency is the same as paid currency. So while you can absolutely spend extra money if you choose, you can also earn enough to buy anything you want from the pro shop by simply playing the game. And 2K's licensing efforts result in a very wide range of outfits and cosmetics from many name brands that support tennis in real life. All in all, it's a system that works well, and it brings much of the play and earn addiction in modern games to top spend. Further adding to this is a wide range of unlocks for real life locations, upgrades to your racket, and specialized skills relating to different playstyles. Top Spin features all four Grand Slam venues, all nine ATP Masters 1000 venues, 
and a variety of original locations developed by Hangar 13, all with having multiple time of day options as well. Top Spin 2K25 is a well-placed serve and powerful return for the classic IP. But more than that, it's a very capable representation of the sport of tennis itself. And as someone who has appreciated the competitiveness and subtle complexities of the sport since I was cheering on McEnroe in real life, it makes me happy to be enjoying it digitally once again. While the overall package has some shortcomings and rough edges, particularly online, it's a sturdy foundation that gets far more right than wrong. With additional tuning and expansion, I see no reason why we shouldn't see regular top spin entries moving forward, which seems logical given the popularity of this sport. Advantage 2K.